I would like to give each and every one of us a big welcome. To when you hold funds in trust and in the saddle to disburse the same to tertiary institutions across the length and breadth of the country, there comes a time when you just have to give account of your stewardship. It's the third taxpayers forum at the instance of the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, that fund, for which the agency will be opening their workbook on what they've done with the 2% tax of accessible profit of companies registered in Nigeria in the last 10 years. We sponsored over 10,000 lecturers in the local PhD program, over 9,000 lecturers in the local master's degree program across the country between 2011 and 2020. The fund has also sponsored well over 4,485 lecturers to overseas institutions for PhD programs and over 3,192 master's degree candidates also overseas across tertiary institutions within the same period. New areas are being considered. We have a very ambitious program, i.e. to do 160,000 bed spaces across 100 university campuses, totaling 160,000 additional bed spaces. Professor Gundikpe, Vice Chancellor of the University of First Choice, as they choose to call themselves, have benefited immensely from the interventions, but wants the board to look at a few more areas. There's need for the companies to pay tax is very important because available data in 2008 confirms that about 2.2 million companies are registered in Nigeria, but only one around four, only around four, one around four companies are always paid. Knowledge-based economy is at the fulcrum of established climbs. Here is what we must do to catch up if we want to. Brick and mortar does not do research. It is human beings that do researches. Columbia University, New York, as asset in pharmaceutical alone, last year was $1.9 billion. I think that is what Ted Fund must focus on. The taxman, that's the FIRS, says it will bring in more corporates into the net through technology. The cycle is complete when the funds the tailor-made interventions and the human capacity meet. That's the nexus for knowledge-based economic growth. Olu Phillips, Channels Television News.